Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Kong, how's the weather? Oh, that is so great. That is Harper and Hudson. Looks like they were having fun. Of course, mom and dad, if you have kids, you want to get them on TV, grab your cell phone, uh, have them do Hey Tom, How's the Weather? Email it to me. It's going to take another week or two to get to it because I have quite a few, but I would love to play it. Might as well get on the, on the list now, right? And since you're doing that, why don't you have them do, hey, Amber, plan my day. Do a second one, and that way they can be on in the morning and at night, like an all-day thing with your kids on TV. All right, let's go ahead and check out the temperature, 55 degrees. Winds out of the north at 14 miles an hour right now. And in uh, Williston, 59 degrees. And the east-northeast wind is at 10 miles an hour right now. Uh, here's a look at the temperatures across western North Dakota. And it's chilly already, and it's going to get cold tonight. Many of the temperatures tonight could fall into the 20s. Uh, but right now, coldest at uh, uh, Rugby and Harvey at 50 degrees. Watford City, a little bit warmer at 57. And Williston did hit 60, but it's not there any longer. And it's still breezy, 5 to 15 miles an hour as an average. Some spots a little bit more than that, so it has been a breezy day. Now, tomorrow is actually going to be a pretty, pretty nice day. We'll have a lot of sunshine until the afternoon. Uh, it's not going to be windy tomorrow, and the temperatures should get into the 60s, so it will be a very pleasant day to be outdoors. Here are the AgWatch Endon 4-inch deep soil temperatures, and uh, from about 1 o'clock when I first put in the numbers to when I updated them uh, right before the news, they've gone up about 3 or 4 degrees, so still uh, a big variability in the uh, deep soil temperatures. Here's our precision cast, 7 o'clock tonight, still breezy. That's that northwest wind, and you can see by the colors up there, 10 to 15 to 20 miles an hour. And by the time you get up tomorrow morning, notice how those lines are much smaller and they're white. So now we're talking about really light wind. Could be some cloud cover to start the day for at least some of us. Other areas will be pretty sunny. And then throughout the afternoon, if you're west of Highway 83, looks like you have a better chance of having more sunshine than the east. But temperatures will be in the 60s pretty much everywhere. And again, not windy. So that's uh, 12 noon. And by the afternoon, now we're going to start seeing the uh, change because the storm center is going to pass right over the top of us. It's up in Saskatchewan now. And it's not like a really powerful storm system, but it is going to be bringing a decent amount of moisture uh, with it. So some areas could get a, a good soaking rain, maybe some snow, unfortunately. Uh, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, there might be some showers in the northwest. And then by the time you get up uh, Saturday morning, yeah, look at this. And some of that could be a good soaking rain. And again, this is the area that needs it. But look at all this. This could be snow. Now, this is just one computer model, but nearly all the computer models are at least indicating the possibility of snow is there. And by 12 noon, we're talking uh, rain possibly around Lake Sakakawea to the south and maybe wet snow to the north. And look at that through Saturday night. Uh, Mother's Day itself, though, should be cool but dry. This is just one forecast model showing roughly an inch or so around mine. I remember, it's going to be melting from the ground up, so it may not notice, seem like that much. A completely different forecast model has the Turtle Mountains uh, really getting nailed. Next 72 hours for Dickinson. Oh boy, it's going to be cool. So tomorrow's a nice day, but it is going to cool off. Same thing in Williston. You can see pretty high odds there. So tonight, temperatures will fall into the 20s. It's going to be a cold night tonight and the daytime highs tomorrow back into the 50s and 60s. Here's a look at the next seven days and this is the Bismarck seven days and even Mother's Day in the southern part of the state is going to be cold. It's going to be even colder uh, in the northern part of the state and next week it looks like temperatures will remain cool but again rain and maybe some snows Friday night and Saturday.